One of the great legacies at McKendree University is that we've always had a rich program in the arts. The Hettenhausen Center for the Arts then is an outgrowth of that rich history and the desire by the institution to provide a performing arts facility into which we're able to invite wonderful world-class performers and speakers and provide an opportunity for our students to perform in a state-of-the-art facility here on the campus. The Hettenhausen Center for the Arts is a 35,000 square foot teaching and performing arts center. It was built in 2006 entirely with donated funds. It is a focal point for this university and is the cultural center of the Metro East. There is no other facility that brings the variety of performers, brings the quality of performers that we bring to our community here. The HEP not only serves as a rehearsal space and a classroom space for our music and our theater programs, and then a performance space for those same programs, but it has also become a beacon to our broader community where the arts live and where people can come and bring their families and experience a wide variety of programming, everything from dance to instrumental music to theater. And that breadth of programming is probably one of the greatest legacies that the HET provides to our broader community on an ongoing basis. Fern Hettenhausen was a delightful human being. She had a marvelous sense of humor and a quick wit and always had a ready piece of advice. She often would talk fondly about times in her life when she and her late husband, Russ, had attended events at McKendree University. Though not an alumna, Fern became a wonderful friend of the university. She cared deeply about what happened here and about our students and about providing them with facilities that would help them grow and learn during their time here. And that, in fact, was one of the great motivations for her philanthropy at the university. As you go into music, it's so wonderful for young people. Um, you become addicted when you start with music. And if you go to see your first opera, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be an opera. You might leave humming the tune, and I think this is such inspiration. Of course, I've always been very music-minded, and um, I just think the Performing Arts Center is a necessity. It truly is. Fern's gift uh, was motivated by two important factors. The first was to memorialize her beloved late husband, Russell. And the second was to provide a state-of-the-art performing arts center to the campus community. The remarkable thing about Fern's gift is that she gave it during her lifetime. So many people choose to make transformative gifts at the end of their lifetime. And that robs them of the opportunity to see and experience and touch the gifts that they have made. Fern was able to sit in this theater and she was able to watch students perform and hear speakers come and share. And that was a wonderful gift that she in fact gave herself as she made this remarkable gift to the university. The Hettenhausen Center for the Arts is one of the most exciting facilities we've developed on the McKendra campus. The enthusiasm around this particular project was palpable. It was something one could feel and everyone was excited. It was 10 years ago in November of 2006 that the Het opened its doors. We had a gala concert, red carpets, searchlights, special performance with Christine Brewer and Fern Hettenhausen on stage. There was an air of electricity and celebration that night that was amazing. Donors and other friends in our community were overwhelmed by the beauty of the place. Everyone knew, I think, inside their heart 
that this was a game changer for this institution. That somehow after that date, McKendree University was never going to be the same, and it hasn't been. We knew that it, once the hat was built, it would find its purpose. It would work to fill the needs of the university and the community. Where exactly that was going to take us, I'm not entirely sure was clear. But we knew that once we built it, they would come. And over the past 10 years, we've just seen our programming explode. My favorite memory is all the shows, and uh, my favorite would be 100 years on Broadway. One of the best ones, of course, is the Mid-America Air Force Band. Uh, they bring the house down every time. Jack Hanna. I loved it when Jack Hanna was here with all of his animals and reptiles. We now offer 20, 25, 30 McKendry Presents programs to the community. We have dance, we have music of every kind. We do uh, theater productions, both the university theater department, but we'll also bring in companies from around the country. We also offer a distinguished speaker series uh, where we bring in nationally recognized speakers, journalists with national reputations, former world leaders, famous authors. We also have a full array of student performances here. All the different departments in the visual and performing arts division use the HET to perform. And indeed, I think everyone at McKendree has been thrilled to watch as the HET's programming has just blossomed. When I think about my hopes and dreams for the HET over the next decade, I want it to continue to be a place where people come to experience the arts. I want to continue each and every year to step up the quality of performances. I want to bring in more interesting groups. I want to challenge our audience in ways that they haven't been challenged before. The wonderful legacy of the Hettenhausen Center for the Arts is that it was the collective effort of Fern and many, many other donors who came together and provided the resources necessary to build the Hett. So whether it was a row or a seat or the gift that named the building, all of those gifts together allowed us to build the Hettenhausen Center for the Arts. And we are grateful as an institution for the philanthropy that was shown to this project. What we've accomplished here over the past 10 years is not due to the work of one person. It's a whole community of people. And I want to thank all of those people, those people who've made contributions, the people who buy tickets, the people who volunteer, the people who come and enjoy these shows for year after year after year, I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart for making the Het the success that it is today.